Samaritan Act. Hello everybody, it's Tom here. I hope you're all well. Today I want to talk about something that I think we should be doing more for each other and that is looking out for each other, looking out for each other when things are not right. The reason I'm doing this video today is a former work colleague of mine went out of his way to make sure somebody that he worked with and I did as well was okay and how many of us would do this let's be honest it's probably not out of you know anything other than the fact we've got our own life to live we've got our own things going on that sometimes we do not recognize and we do not show care when perhaps we should all right everybody's guilty of this and this is not me having a go at anybody for it the fact of the matter is we should all be looking out for one another a little bit more and after this video maybe you will feel that way so i warn you now some of what i'm going to say is going to be quite upsetting so if you're somebody that's uh quite sensitive maybe this video is not for you but it's important that you understand why i've done this so to give you a bit of backstory so there's a, a colleague of mine who's a 60 year old man he's a driver um, he used to work with my other colleague, they used to be part of a driving crew together. They have a good professional relationship and they get on very well. I wouldn't say they're BFFs outside of work, not at all, but uh, he's known him for a very, very long time and they have a good bond, a good, a good solid professional bond, shall we say. So, uh, a little bit of backstory, this, this man is uh, a father to two children, a, man and, uh, a, boy, a woman and a man. He's also divorced and he helps his mother and his father who are very elderly uh, with their health related issues. Both are in their 80s and early 90s so they're both getting on. So to put into context, uh, a few months or a few weeks back we had a phone conversation my management did with him about his health and he's got very bad psoriasis and it flared up quite bad so much so he was probably going to be in hospital he ended up taking that time off work and the last contact we had was i'm probably gonna to have to go to hospital and then we didn't hear anything very unlike him very unlike him so much so that a month later we'd still not heard from him now all employers have a duty of care to their employees when things are not right and something was very off about everything nobody had seen or heard of him for weeks and uh, my colleague who used to be a police officer when he got back off his holiday was very concerned about his friend as well as his colleague as to where he might be and what may have happened so maybe you call it policeman's intuition, call it what you will. He set out to get more information. He took time out of his working day to drive over to where this guy lives. He spoke to the, the man's ex-partner. She contacted his parents. He'd not been seen for a while. He spoke to neighbours. The neighbours had been like shouting up through the letterbox in the flat that he lives in with no answer his car was still parked outside so you can imagine that at this point we were probably fearing the worst fearing that something really bad had happened and i don't need to spell it out to you as to where i'm going with this um and then eventually he got hold of uh, the guy's son who confirmed the last conversation or contact he'd had with his father was a few weeks ago it was a, a text message just to wish him happy birthday and nothing else and since then and i've spoken about two and a half weeks obviously he started to worry as well and a decision was made to contact the police 
as uh, the guy's sister got into the flat but couldn't get out through the top door. It was like it was jammed. So fearing the worst, the police kicked the door in after it took four of them. Sure enough, the lock had been manipulated at the top deliberately. We had the phone call and my heart was racing. I was concerned that I was going to hear that he'd killed himself or something. Thankfully not. But what was found was not very good. There was no food in the house. He was very ill. And he'd basically just been waiting to die. So it's not, it not a very nice thing to say, but the guy had given up. He'd given up on life. He didn't want to be disturbed. His depression had got that bad that he literally was just waiting for the inevitable. And the worst part about it is his family didn't seem the ur as urgent to find out if he was okay as what we did. We're just colleagues, we're not blood, we're not relatives. The moral of the story is clear. My colleague was a good Samaritan. He was a good friend, a good human being and a good work colleague, all three, by going out of his way to help this guy. If it weren't for his actions, I think that he, the other guy would have died. He'd have starved himself and literally his body would have given up. So I want to ask you now, the next time you've not heard from somebody in a while and it's not, it's not normal, check in. Check in with them, make sure they're okay. Particularly if it's somebody that lives alone that doesn't have a lot of family or someone that is a bit reclusive. Check in, make sure that person's okay. We have to be a bit more mindful, you know, of what people's states are. You never know how, what somebody's thinking, feeling and what they're going through. If something seems off and they're not like in their normal selves and you're not hearing from them, I would say reach out. It's better to be called nosy with nothing wrong than ignore what's happened, think nothing of it, and then find somebody has either killed themselves or like, like Mick was in a bad way. Okay, it's food for thought. Third and final video of the week. I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. I really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel. Thank you kindly. Third and final video, as I said, please put down in the comments section below. Have you ever had an incident where somebody probably needed help, like this guy who was too proud to ask, proud to ask for help? He's a very private person, but at the end of the day, we all need each other and we should all be looking out for one another, whether that be a friend, a work colleague, an associate. It's all too easily a lot of the time for, for life to get in the way and for people to be forgotten. And if you forget somebody, it could be the last time you forget them. Remember that. Please, 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 if you would, hit down on that subscribe button down below. That'd be really great. I'd really appreciate it. Please, if you go out as well, would you consider giving me a thumbs up and a like? And let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know what my next content's out. I will be back next week with another three videos. But until then, please take care of yourselves and bye for now.